What is going on, Luna Classic community? Guys, I hope that you are ready because I got some more information for you today. And we're going to talk about some of these cool projects. But first, we're going to get into the news about what's going on with Luna Classic. And we're going to walk through just a few of these things. Like, if you like this type of content, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe button, and the bell to be notified because it's going to help you find your daily dose of Luna Classic content. And look, there's going to be people who are talking bad about you because they want this chain to die. Remember, a lot of these people, uh, Moon Project, stuff like that, like Moon Protocol, whatever it's called, uh, you know, those guys are paid for uh, by Luna uh, Terraform Labs, who was just found liable for all of this uh, the problems that resulted in this Luna Classic chain coming into existence and you know falling apart. We're looking to kind of repeg and, and redo this the right way, if you will. So let's see how this goes. But again, help me out. Hit that like button. Um, make sure if you're looking to trade and you want to do some trade volume and you want to burn some tokens, go to Weeks, W-E-E-X.com. There's a link in the description down below. You sign up there then those guys are going to take care of you and they're going to burn tokens for you. Uh, also, if you haven't, Terra Casino, go check that out. They do burn tokens as well and they can potentially help you. And they are uh, sponsoring this entire thing that we're doing here right now. And what are we doing here right now? Well, let's kick that off. Uh, first of all, the news that's coming out right now. Uh, Genuine Labs has put out a uh, security package update and... Uh, there's been quite a bit of Luna Classic that's been burned so far. So um, Genuine Labs, uh, in a post on April 10, announced it detailed bi-weekly update, which we're going to look at in a few moments. The developer group noted various accomplishments in Terra Classic development. The incredible support and encouragement from the community means the world to us. The developer group revealed major developments in core repository of the SDK 47 upgrade. The team also fixed the E2E test and interchain test required as part of the new Terra Classic core version. Uh, to be more specific, they're upgrading with testnet and upgrading with mainnet. Um, and then we burned 110 billion tokens, not $110 billion, by the way, but 110 billion tokens so far, which if you were ever uh, looking, want you go to lunkmetrics.com, which is another one of the part of the, the projects here that we're talking about. And you can get that information at any given moment. Sure believes, but what else you got going on? I don't know. Let's go look. Uh, let's check some price action and we'll check some some trade volatility, stuff like that. All right. So uh, that yesterday I told you guys, you know, I, I would expect to see a bounce off of that. It looks like we were forming uh, this sort of channel right here. Well, it did not sustain and the rest of the market started to capitulate greatly, I might add. And we had this, this downward momentum all the way down to 12 to great buying opportunity. By the way, you see this enormous wick down here. Uh, that usually means there's a, a reversal imminent. You see that right there. Big reversal happens over here. You see that right there. Big reversal happens over there. So you know, we could be on the edge of seeing one of those big reversals. Now, are we? I don't think so yet. I think there's a couple more days. I think we get to the halving. We start to get through the halving. And then we start to see something like that. I don't think that today is going to be the day where we see it. It doesn't mean I don't think that we're going to have some nice volatility and some nice range here. And that we're probably going to get back into... Uh, you know, one of these higher level and higher tier sort of ranges, 1500, three zeros, 1500 seems to be where we're the most comfortable right now around uh, three zeros, 153 would look to me to be more of an optimal sort of area uh, where I think we're going to see quite, kind of a lot of uh, um, uh, a lot of trading at that point. Now, if you move out here, by the way, as you can see, we're we're really sitting into the long term range of around 13. Um, but, I mean, we're a long way from 406, which we were at uh, not a few months back. So uh, here we are on this come up, and uh, you know, it's just going to get better. It's going to get better. Uh, there, there's a lot going on in the background. And let's look at some price action here. Trading volume down a little bit. Terra Luna Classic really, really down. Uh, $36 million in trade volume. Um, for uh, USTC, again, I'm not as bullish. $9.9 .9 million in the day. $222 million market cap. Um, you know, that pegs to about two cents. So if we get some kind of repeg or something like that, um, that's what it would be. No governance proposals are out right now. Uh, if you go look at Commonwealth and you can just see, you know, list of uh, KYC developers and then an auto unbond process, stuff like that. So, you know, nothing really lighting it on fire. Just that 
that price action. We're looking for that price action to, to, to have another big move. And again, we got to get into this green box. If we don't get in this green box, then that does represent a problem over time. Like at some point, we have to come to the realization that we're not going to have that breakout that we're looking to have. But I do think that we're still going to have it, by the way. And uh, it, it's going to be brought about by um, by the having. So, you know, we're just going to have to wait a few more days before we start to see it. And I put this over here around where the having was, because I do think that after the having, we might see some kind of spike because there's going to be some interest in it. Uh, it's going to be some some positive sentiment. So, you know, we'll see what happens here. Right. Uh, in the meantime, this is the biweekly report for Genuine Labs. If you want to go check this out, go to hackmd.io or go to Genuine Labs on uh, uh, on X and, and kind of check it out. They give you just kind of an idea of everything that's going on. They'll give you what the next steps are, what they need to do, what everything, you know, to make this the, the best thing that they can. That's what they do. Uh, if you have any questions about what's going on, always go to Lunk Dash. They can give you all the information that you need. Uh, it does include burns, but if you want to go for burns, that's going to be Lunk Metrics over here. Uh, but this is, you can look at the top holders, the top burners. Uh, top wallet statistics, and you have a full dashboard over here letting you know, you know, these are the latest people who have done some kind of burns, what they burned, um, uh, and, and then how people vote. You can find out, by the way, how everybody votes when you're uh, getting these proposals up. There's no active proposal, but you will know how somebody voted. It's a brilliant way to track whatever it is that you need to know. Uh, but now let's get into um, the, the real meat and potatoes today. I'm going to introduce you to a project. And look, we're not going to do a whole lot here because we're just doing some cursory. I, I rely on you to do your own research and figure some of this stuff out. But this is probably one of the uh, cool projects in this space. We're going to, again, we're just going to breeze over this to give you some information. But you would do your, yourself some, some justice by checking this out for yourself. This is called the Elbun Project, uh, Funding Devs, Burning Lunk, and Rewarding Holders. Uh, created by the Lunk community for the Lunk community. A lot of activity, by the way, if you haven't already, at Elbun Project. Uh, they're already following me because I'm awesome. And then, you know, uh, you can go check this out. If you want to do anything, it's the Elbun Project tech. Uh, you go to the base website, and then you have a validator over here. They are a validator. So, again, make sure that you know that they're voting in a way that you are appropriate with before you make a decision on what it is that you want to do. Uh, then here's the base swap dap. Uh, and then there's a peer-to-peer -peer marketplace. Uh, additionally, uh, mining NFTs, uh, mining NFTs on Miata and big banks. Uh, and then you have the white paper. Uh, then you have your smart contract over here. Uh, the base token is the one uh, that we're talking about here. Uh, Telegram group is right there. And then the mining setup guide, again, at Elbun Project. Now, what is it? Well, here's the white paper right here. Again, we're just going to do a breeze over it. Um, there was a, the community refused to give up hope and rallied in a massive effort to restore the new name Lunk. Okay, and then this kind of gives you a little history on it. Uh, and then it tells you the token burning has become an increasingly popular mechanism. Uh, however, some token burning methods may require the cooperation of centralized entities such as exchanges to facilitate process. The Elbin project has developed an alternate method of burning Lunk, though the use of uh, token bonding curve for the burning and staking enterprise, which is the base token. TBC mechanism allows for the collection of a 4.8% tax on each buy and sell of the base token, which is used to fund both investor returns and the purchase of Lunk on Terra Classic for burning. So you buy base, and the more you trade on base, the more you get taxed. Uh, you get a tax of 4.8% that allows for that 4.8% to be used to burn Luna Classic. The Elbun project has taken steps to expand its token burning mechanism to other blockchain networks. Uh, I think there's uh, some mention of it being on Solana. The Elbin project has been running an accelerated burning dap on Solana, and it's recently expanded its burning mechanism to Terra 2 as well. Uh, so uh, this is, and if you really want to, you go in here, you learn a little bit about token bonding curve basics. Again, we're going to be going over this for a while. So some of these things, you, you might look at them, you'd be like, you know, we're going to come back to this and we're going to be talking about it. Uh, then you have the implementation. This explains how it's implemented how much you could actually burn as you're doing it. Um, this is your mining base via proof of work. The SEC's stated proof of works are a commodity. So uh, if you want to mine base tokens, then you are able to do that. It will, in, and there's an explanation on how you can do it. Uh, here's how you go through virtual mining for that process. Uh, basically an L2, if you will. Uh, minting, uh, these are mining NFTs. This tells you exactly what you need to know about how to do that. 
Uh, then here's your DeFi ecosystem. Luna Classic staking, uh, liquidity preservation, uh, how that works, what the tokenomics are of the base uh, of the base token. Uh, and then here's all the references that you need in order to know exactly what is going on. And then uh, here's kind of a highlight. In the spirit of highlighting L2 Unlunk, I present the Elbun Project, a short thread explaining some of their work. Uh, currently, the Elbun Project has four different sub-projects, the base token, virtual mining NFTs, peer-to-peer -peer market, and a land rush. Uh, this is a tokenized uh, real land in West Virginia. Base token or burn and stake enterprises uses a token bonding curve and an increase on buy and sell tax of the token for the NGU numbers go up tech and burn. The red circle represents where we're at on the token bonding curve. Uh, then you have um, uh, the, what, what I just showed you through the white paper. Um, did you know that base can be mined? There's a chain which users can participate in proof of work mining and tokens in a virtual proof of work mining or buying a base miner NFT. Mining rewards are distributed in regular mining when bridging to Terra Classic and in virtual blocks for the NFT. Uh, going down here, there's plenty of different stuff that you need to know. And then here is the base P2P marketplace. Uh, so, you know, there's a lot that you can do here. Uh, I urge you, if you're part of this community, if you're looking to learn about Luna Classic, if you're looking to learn about this community, if you're looking to, to to help yourself, then you owe it to yourself to start trading and start doing some, some stuff in this blockchain, which now supports dApps. It supports, remember the IBC hooks are, are uh, installed and implemented so that we can start uh, building really robustly building on this network, but that's take, that's going to take you. It's going to take you to be active in it. If you are, then we're going to soar and we're going to succeed. Uh, if you're not, then we're going to meander a little bit. Now, retail will come back eventually. Uh, and by the way, uh, when we see the, the Hong Kong Bitcoin ETF, which is probably next week, it's going to be a lot of Asian communities getting real interested in crypto. And a lot of those guys are very big fans or were fans of Luna, Luna Classic. And look, everybody loves that revival story. So there's a moment in time here where you're going to see this token absolutely start to rip. Cryptonomy.finance just launched a research section. So make sure that you go check that out today. Learn a little bit more about crypto that you may not have known before. If you are a corporate client, you can have a relationship manager uh, and a lot of customer support, superior OTC services, and institutional tools that will help you in your venture. Also, if you sign up for the VIP course, you can get in touch with high-touch wealth management personnel and a lot of different people and personalized information as you need in order to successfully navigate this crypto. Also, if you look at my moves right now, you can see that I'm earning over 106 Solana on my last staking. My Tether, I'm going to earn 1,670 on my staking so far. Uh, you can see there's some of these have, I've earned $784. I can't cash out for a while, but uh, I've earned 784 so far. And then in the launch pool, guys, if you haven't checked the launch pool out, you've got to check the launch pool. Look at these ROIs that I'm getting right now. It's fantastic. Uh, 20 X on K9 Finance, 7X on Weave, on Block Jerk. Uh, if you get if you put a stake into this system right here, it gives you a fantastic amount of rewards. Go check this out today. You will see that happen. Uh, it's it's inevitable. Terra Luna Classic uh, is going to have that big moment. Will it reach you know previous highs or something like that? I don't know. That's going to be up to you guys. That's going to be up to the entire community to make something happen. And it really doesn't matter. What matters is can we burn enough tokens to make it worthwhile for that to be the case? Now, again, I've submitted a proposal. There are some people that are looking at it. I don't know if it's doable or not. I don't know if they're going to get to it or not. I don't know if anything becomes of it or not. Uh, but we're looking to burn a lot. We're looking to repeg, get these tokens back to working again, try to stabilize this entire ecosystem. And then uh, at some point, something like Elbin Project or another anchor protocol comes around and then all of a sudden, everything just starts to get wild again. Could it happen? Yeah, it can. What does it take? It takes you. It takes you uh, trading on weeks to burn some tokens. It, it takes you uh, going over here and, and burning some tokens. It takes you burning some tokens, finding a way to burn. I don't expect you to just give up a bunch of tokens and just throw them in there to, to burn. I expect find ways to do that within the ecosystem, create um, create life within this ecosystem. And if you do that, then the rest kind of falls into place, but that's on, that's on you. That's on me. That's on us. Uh, let's make it happen. So, um, thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate each and every one of you. It's not financial advice, but I'm always right.